everyone welcome back to another exo zeros episode today's episode we are actually breaking down the historic republic team that i have been playtesting and been building for the past few days before that if you want to update exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below okay so more or less for historic republic there are a few notable heroes here that actually you are going to look at so first and foremost would be janai because janai is actually the general of this team and she is going to be um very dominant especially if you level up her attack Your, her her attack stats should be high enough so that her charm will actually take effect on the enemies on the other side so this will make or break your team so more or less again she has to have the highest attack stat of all versus your enemies on the other side so this is actually her must trigger spell or passive for you to have a good historic republic team I'll, we'll discuss later on how to boost this but let's move to the other heroes that are here so key as well is Adams for his really serious Reaper Sickle S2 with burst damage and 750% damage to one enemy. This is actually a killer. Um, uh, he's an assassin more or less and this really hurts a bit. Okay, so again, these are your core and which includes as well Shell. Shell is actually here because of your cleanse and also um what they call this your night carnival which is increased critical hit by 100 percent and also she is important because of this one taking out um taking out barriers and also reduces hit she has a lot of debuffs actually which is actually vital but she requires charm the enemies for this to trigger so your core again will be composed of shell adams and janai let me just go back to janai janai is actually um not that bad um she is going to rely heavily on her passive her what makes her great is actually her passive especially charm her s1 and s2 are actually great because these complements her passive as well so more or less these three are your core Jin actually had a recent um, had a recent upgrade to his passive as well. So he now has a secret stealth technique, which is actually more on increases dodge and reduces own uh, damage received. And it has branding, removes branding marks from all enemies and secret stealth technique effect when attacked. So again, his his skills um his silence is triggered also when charm is is taken into effect on the enemies on the other side as well as his s2 okay so so you have four that you can actually use mix and match you can actually swap adams for Jin whenever you need to but more or less i would i would really recommend that you bring the three of them so Jinai, Adams, and Shell swap Jin for Adams, but also you can consider one other one other hero that I that is I think vital that could be vital because of healing, which is Legger. Legger also had a recent a recent update on her kit as well for her revive and for um, giving shields as well um again barriers and more or less she is a great support i will test her out as soon as um as soon as i have her leveled up but for now the ones that i'm using for stories will be mainly Jinai, adams Jin, and shell okay in terms of team composition um the ones that you will be pairing with stories mainly would be either Wasted Red or Greenland. Mainly because they have two of the best healers. If you consider Rudley healer. So Rudley and Talia on the other hand. Okay. So 
more or less those are those are um the pairings but i'm going to this to be discussing wasted red in this pairing so let's move on to team compositions so there will be um there will be in terms of manually playing it you'll be you'll be carrying either an offensive type um a storage republic team or a defensive type so for your for your defensive type you're going to be bringing you're going to be uh defensive type this is actually your team already so you have here garf um uh shell you have here rudley janai and you have here annie they are very good in terms of controlling tempo silence um turn resets uh what else uh that uh what they call this um dot damages or damage over time from garf and also from janai so this is the team that i'm bringing now um, as a defensive team but if you're if you want to choose offense more over defense which i already tested which is actually pretty much okay you're going to swap out garf with adams for this one so this is going to be your manual offensive team and more or less they are very good as well um but they kind of lack a bit of a staying power if they encounter really tough um, teams, um, really leveled up teams for Greenland or leveled up teams for Lidombe. So that is why I am using the um, defensive version. And also for auto, once you're in defense mode or you're, you're setting up your team for defense, all you have to do for both offensive and, and, and uh, offensive and defensive team is to swap out um annie for maggie so because again with the barrier that she provides she provides it to the back row so more or less again she gives them a little bit more of survivability especially with if you choose to use the defensive type so again this will be a good lineup for you to bring okay keys to this team would be um janai um increasing her attack so janai how to increase attack would be um in her gear enhancements so recently <clears throat> we have had uh, we have had uh, what you call this we have had uh, r2 gears already so it's best that you upgrade her gears you do um enhancements with your fate core so she's now at 20 and her attack skill is now at 9430 which is actually close to the top already um i want to max her attack stat at around 9009 or around 10,000, if it's possible so that she could maximize her charm and and you know, giving charm to the to, to to your enemies on the other side Okay, another one that you should consider um, in building Janai would be your Signature Force. Because there are a lot of buffs actually in terms of Signature Force. So for my Estorish Republic um, buffs, I'm currently at 3-2. So this is recently, this was just, just recently completed. And I still need this for buffs for historic republic heroes for all so this is additional attack again defense hp and attack speed and the last one would be um decreases elemental damage received by heroes from of from historic republic by 30 percent so again um i'm nearing the top and i'm quite satisfied with what i have in terms of signature force already and also you need to consider two blue fate cores in building your historic public team so one fate core that you need would be um blue fate correra which grants a buff to chaos type which janai is obviously chaos type so again um this is actually or should be increased so i think i only have her at uh, I think she uh, she is at plus two or plus three. I don't remember. But again, this should be buffed more. And the other blue fate core 
um, that you should consider um, getting fusions for is also blue FC Yao. Okay, so I think for FC Yao, I think I have her at fusion one and more or less I need to bump up her fusion as well. Okay, so matchup problems for stories. Number one, for teams with, a, with, with barriers, it's actually a big problem. Fortunately, you have Shell there to take care of barriers, but you have to make sure that she hits them with her S1 and they are afflicted by charm as well. So if she misses, if she actually misses um, with her S1, then you will definitely lose a turn um, in terms of getting rid of the shield. And also for Radley, um, Radley is actually important in terms of if you want to pair uh, Estorch with Waste and Red because again, he needs to be able to, to get this off, his S2, which increases maximum health and defense and grants a barrier equal to 70% of all maximum health to him and to the lowest. I think this is to the lowest person or the lowest hero that um, are the squishiest one. And also, um, you need actually need Annie here to trigger Burning Soul. Burning Soul is actually given to the fastest or the highest attack speed, which is usually Redly. So again, that is why Annie is usually here in terms of manually playing it because Redly should give that S2 so that everyone in the stories or in this team would be able to survive. And also, you, you will kind of have a difficulty in terms of... Um, um, encountering mirror mirror matches in terms of Historic Republic as well. Um, you, I think you won't have a problem as long as you uh, are confident that you have maxed out your attack stat for your Jinai. Okay, let's have some few matches here. So, I have been... I'm actually still at Master 3. So more or less, I'm going to use that defensive type of uh, of match of uh, unit. So have here Annie, um, Red Legion, I, uh, Garf, and also Shell. So let's take this team to PvP and let's see how this fares. I've actually been playing this team and the other one, the offensive type, since probably this morning and have had a couple of matches. That is why I have climbed up to Master 3 so far. So more or less, I'm I'm aiming to climb Master 1 more or less so that I could, you know, at least rank I with this team that I'm bringing. So again, to start off, you should either be first or second to act with Redly because again, you need to trigger that S2. So usually, if there are faster heroes than you, Usually you 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 go secondly. So with Burning Soul, you go with S2. Make sure that your team survives gaining additional HP, additional defense, and also a barrier to, to red lead to another hero. <clears throat> so I think we're all set. This is actually kind of a difficult matchup because of Talia here. But what I do usually is I would silence um, I would silence uh, Schmidt so that he doesn't he doesn't use his S1 and he just uses a regular attack. So more or less we just push on. Let's wait for actually I'm going to just wait for Shell for her turn because we actually need to remove the barrier for those who have charm. So I think there are only one and two heroes or enemies on the other side that are charmed. So, well, I have to live with that and pick them apart. I think it's three. You have Redley, Schmidt, and Talia. This is actually a difficult matchup because you have two healers here. You have Talia and you have um, Redley in this team. So let's try to... Silence uh, battery. See, 
The problem with Redley because he also silences my team. So that is why I don't like Redley on the opposing team um, paired with Talia. It's okay if it's only one of them. But normally, if, if it's the two of them, it's definitely a bigger headache. Okay, so shield is out for Redley and for Schmidt. So let's wait for our turn and see if we can survive this onslaught from the opponent. So it would be best to be ready with usually an AoE attack, a burst AoE, which actually Annie has to unleash when it's your turn. So more or less again, I really, I really hate Talia in terms of having her as an opponent because she, she really keeps her team as well healthy and, and more or less alive. So. I think we're we're pretty we're pretty much holding on good. So let's do another S2 to keep ourselves healed and defended well. Okay, so who's next? Schmidt is next. So I I, I wasn't able to silence Schmidt. So more or less he'll be using his S2. Oh yeah. I still have another turn, so I'm gonna silence Schmidt so that he will you only use his basic attack. So this is what I hate. Double heals for the opposing team. Rudley and Talia. Well, let's see. This is actually a hard matchup. I really understand. So we have here. Okay, let's try to use this one. I'm at nine mana. Let's see how much damage it deals. My pole dancing wizard dealing damage. So good that Rudley's at, I think it's at one fourth. I spoke too soon. I'm gonna silence Schmidt again. Double silence if necessary, then let's try this. S2 for Janai. Uh, give them poison, kill them softly. Killing them softly. This is going to be pretty much a long match, I'm sure. As long as I'm consistent in taking off their barriers, I think I'll be fine. So the, the goal right now is to either take out Schmidt or Redley and the rest will follow suit. So who's next? It's going to be Garf. Garf, enemy Rudley, and let's try to take out Talia, but I doubt it. So miss. For uh, actually, Talia is actually very good in dodging. Um, she, her, her survivability and build is actually very very good. Although I haven't built my Greenland team. Uh, I think only Rera is 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 built in my team right now. So down goes Janai and more or less I'll have to be contented and play the game without her. This is actually still salvageable, guys. I've I've experienced um being a man down in other matches and still pull out a win. So let's see. So next up, battery. Hopefully I could weather this battery. Two attacks. I'm sure she's going to attack another another one after this one. So we're down to one third health. No heals, please, for the other team. Down to three people. So again, I... I tell you guys, this team in terms of Greenland is actually a nightmare in terms of the twin heals. Um, especially if you don't have charm leveled up. Um, it's pr pretty much a hard matchup to have. So, um, but again, it's it's actually a man still manageable as long as you 
were able to take off the shield. So again, my team still needs to be leveled up. Um, signature force, blue fate cores, and more or less, I still need a lot of additional stats for for, for what they call this for Junai's attack stat to be increased. So let's actually just um, try to finish this off and end this, and let's move on to another match. Hopefully, I could have better luck with the match after that one. Probably a more favorable one. Really have a hard time dealing with barriers. Um, two healers. This one, I think, would be better. So this is kind of, a again, a mirror match. So all of them have... All of them have charm. So that means that the enemy... The enemy Junai actually has higher attack than mine. So let's try to pull this off if I can. So I already have already have my defense up. Let's just uh, silence Rudley, my boy, so that he cannot. Oh, okay. Was it D? Um, somebody took the debuff off. So let's just try to weather the storm. The Junai storm. And so Shell is still here. Let's try to attack Garf without the shield. Pretty much a very tanky team on the other side again matchups are pretty much you know a toss up on who, who are you going to get this one i didn't really expect to have um I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people have been using stories already and the teams but again the builds are very specific in terms of um which factions you can bring with them um the other faction has a similar build to mine um, but she has Maggie in the back, so let's try to take out their shields with my shell. So the difference is only Maggie and Annie for this mirror matchup. At least it hit and the shields are out, then I'm free to run wild as well. Okay, so unleash. Unleash the Annie. Go Annie. <clears throat> Go Annie. So I have two more attacks. Two more AoE attacks to try to weather them down. It's good that I have bind as well for Janai. Oh uh, yeah, for Janai. The last one would be Redly. So I hope that I can do my AoE attack and take him out. So again, as I've said, guys, for a mirror match, it usually boils down to who takes out the shield first and do a lot of AoE damage. Usually it's in your favor if you're if you're playing this on manual, but Again, the enemy is doing it on auto, so again, you you can this you can decide better once you're doing this on manual. So Janai, concert, K-pop, three to go, three to go. Took care of Maggie. Took care of um, of Redley. <coughs> And more or less taking care of Garf as well. So two left, Shell and Janai. It's, it's, it's a good thing that I don't have any shields. So her S1 doesn't really, you know, doesn't really matter in terms of barrier removal. So her Janai is actually quite a bit priest attack so 
what do we do? Okay, let's let's have a repeat. Repeat of uh, Redly. This is what I like about Shell. Her S2 is actually a reset and additional mana, which actually I can play her and pick what I want for that turn. So if I wanted heals and damage, I would go for Redly. Um, if I wanted uh, um, damage over time, I could go with Janai. What else? If I if I wanted what's who's the other one? If I wanted Garf to attack, I could actually choose Garf. But again, the best uh, candidates usually for her S2 would be either Adams, Rudley, and Annie. So, Janai versus Janai. I I actually like this one better. In terms of her, her costume, I like the original better versus her FC costume. I'm actually just waiting for... Um, for what they call this the new fc Janai. i think it's the silver one i like that outfit better so more or less i i'm i'm actually just uh waiting for that to be launched i hope they could launch it soon I'm gonna silence her so that she doesn't sing anymore he's gonna be out there you go okay again mirror match is kind of tricky depends on how it goes or or which the it's usually more on tempo which it would it favor you or it would it favor me or oh, sorry would it favor the enemy or, or it will favor you but more or less um the timing is really important in terms of um removing barriers once you remove the barriers of the enemy team i'm sure it would be smooth sailing you could you know uh, bombard them with aoe attacks and also um take them out uh piece by piece okay guys so again for those who have stuck far in this video thank you very much and uh please consider subscribing we also please put a like if you if you if you find this video helpful don't forget as well to click the bell icon um, comments will be appreciated put them down in the comment section below take care guys stay safe this is the warden out of here